Hi, I'm Jennifer. Welcome to Salve Salento. And today I'd like to talk to you about food um, in the United States right now. And over the past two years, the food costs have gone up sky high in the United States. And I wanted to talk to you about why that's happening in the United States and why it really isn't happening here in the south of Italy too much. Um, in the United States, they get food from all over. They get food from all over the world and it has to get transported there. And the reason why the food is so expensive is because of those fuel costs and the transport costs. But what that also does is that brings food that's coming from all over, usually the United States and the world, but by the time it gets to you, wherever you are, that food is kind of old, right? So um, if you can live someplace where you're closer to the food, where they grow the food or the food is processed, then it would make that food more nutritious, it would make it less expensive, and it would make it seasonal because in the United States, you can get apples all year round. You can get, you know, pump, you know, squash and all kinds of things like that all year round, where if you live somewhere where they're really dependent on the local farmers, then you're going to be eating things that are more seasonal, which what, they're fresher. So um, the main difference um, between the United States and here in Italy is GMOs. Um, they don't use GMOs here. The difference between GMOs and organic is that organic doesn't use pesticides. Now, I know that they do use some pesticides here. I don't think that they're the same level as the pesticides that they have in the United States, but I know that the all the communes around here, they advertise even when you're entering the towns or the cities, wherever, they'll say OGM free, which is their, their term for uh, GMO free, which is great because in the United States, you know, more and more products are being grown that are genetically modified and um, they're starting to find out what those effects have, but I'd rather not find out and I'd rather have natural food that's being grown locally and that's fresh and in season. So here in Salento, we have a lot of farms. So there's dairy farms, there's vegetable farms, fruit trees, there's cheeses that come from all over Italy. Because Italy is 2.2 times smaller than Texas. So imagine 2.2 Italy's would fit inside Texas. So the foods that have to travel across Italy don't have to travel that far. Most things can be transported within a day. So you're not getting things that are sitting overnight in trailers or being held in warehouses. The foods that they get here are usually picked, brought to the distribution, and sent out. So your vegetables um, and your fruits and your meats and cheeses, everything is really, really close. So you don't have, it doesn't have to travel far. Um, right here in Galatina, I, I looked it up and I counted them. We have 29 pastry shops. So Galatina is really, it's not really small, but it only has about 29,000 residents. And we have 29 pastry shops. So that's a thousand people for every pastry shop. And we have about eight bread only shops. And that doesn't include commercial bakers because that's just people that are listed on Google that I looked up. Um, so everything is really, really fresh. And the green is all grown in this area. And they'll even advertise it on their, their you know, site or in their store that says, you know, we use only locally grown grains to bake all of our products, which is really, really nice because they just grow it around here and it's, they ground, grind it up and they make up the flour and they bake with it. So everything is super fresh. Um, when you go food shopping in the United States, the main things that you buy, right, are your dairy products, your meat products, fruits and vegetables, your packaged foods, bread, beverages, beer, wine, sodas, um, non-alcoholic drinks, um, your water and things like that. So the prices here are not anything compared to what they are in the United States. Um, for meats, so since everything is sourced locally, your meats are for a kilogram, which is about 2.2 pounds in the United States, the price for a kilogram of meat is usually the same or less than what one pound would be in the US. So if you're buying sausages or anything like that, when you look at the package price or 
Um, I'm going to tell you about some stores that are in this area, and then you can actually go on their website and look at the prices of the foods in their ads, just like a supermarket flyer that you would see in the U.S., but that's based on a kilogram. So that would be 2.2 times less than what you're paying in the United States. Um, so between the pastry shops, I mean, who could even compare? You can't even compare the United States to Italy for pastry and bread. Um, the, the vegetables, everything is seasonal that they pick here, usually. So they will get some things from other places. I've gotten limes that weren't, that weren't grown here. Um, but other than that, mostly everything is picked and sourced from this area or Italy in entirety. And like I said, it's very close. So it's not like it has to sit in a truck for you know a week to get from one place to another. Um, so the vegetables are fresh. They're from Italy. Um, fruits and vegetables. Um, when you buy things here and they're in season, everything is a lot less because there's so much of it. So the prices of vegetables and fruits are very low compared to the United States where they're getting things sent from all over, sometimes from all over the world. And they have to pick those items before they're ripe when you buy them from another country where they have to get transported. And then they end up sitting in warehouses until they can get shipped to the supermarkets where here the things that are in season and the things that are fresh are getting picked and then they're getting brought to a distribution center and then they're getting sent to the local supermarkets and that's it. Then you don't have to wait a really long time for those things to arrive. They're usually picked when they're ripe, which is more nutritious obviously, but um, it's more, it tastes better, it tastes a lot better. Like anything that you get here, even the lettuce, lettuce, cucumbers, eggplants, just salad, um, anything like that is uh, so fresh and so delicious, which sometimes when you buy things in the United States and you buy an apple, you're like, it doesn't even taste like an apple or tomatoes. Sometimes they don't even look like they're ripe inside. They're red on the outside, but when you cut them open on the inside, they're not even ripe. Sometimes they're yellow or white inside, and that doesn't happen here. Everything here is really, really delicious and fresh, and um, you know, I could go on all, all day about the vegetables. But um, so cheeses, Italy is famous for cheese, um, and they get cheeses in the, if you go to a, a larger supermarket, you can find all different kinds of cheeses there from all over Italy. Sometimes you'll find cheeses from other countries too here in Europe. You'll find them from France and you'll find from Spain. So um, products that aren't just from Italy, you'll find some other specialty things, but mainly the supermarkets and the stores here focus on Italian products because those are obviously the, be the best to them. They're the best, and they really are the best. They, um, you can't really compare it. Um, so I told you about the meats, that they're very inexpensive, but they're also so fresh, and the taste is unlike anything that you've had in the United States. You know, they don't go through mass-producing plants. The chicken doesn't go through a mass production. They don't have a giant you know, processing plant for tons and tons of chicken because people here do eat meat, but they don't eat the volume of meat that you would be eating in the United States. So they do have it, but they don't have too much of it. They have enough. So, um, you know, that's another good thing that the prices of it are not, they're not expensive, but it's all very good and very fresh. Um, so beverages, everyone's always asking, you know, can I get the same things that I have in the United States? Can I get them in Italy? You know, I really love Coke. I really love Pepsi. I really like Sprite, all these uh, drinks that I'm used to drinking in the United States. Can I get them in Italy? And the answer is yes. They have Coke and Pepsi. Um, they have some Italian brands of soda, which are really good, like lemon soda is good. Um, Water is also really inexpensive here. So for a giant bottle, I think it's a two liter bottle, it's, sometimes it's between 20 and 29 cents for a giant bottle of mineral water. Um, they have one that's frizzante, which has the bubbles in it, and then the still one that has no bubbles, the natural one, 
but that's very inexpensive because if you would buy mineralized water in the United States, you know, water that's filled with calcium and magnesium, it would be really expensive. But here, it's practically water that just comes out of the ground that way. So it's very, very inexpensive, and you buy it in the in a case, and sometimes it's about a dollar, dollar thirty a case. So it's almost like they're giving they're giving you the water. It's so inexpensive, but we use that a lot, um, the bottled water here, and uh, beer. So Italy makes a lot of its own beer brands. There's Peroni, Moretti. There's a lot of craft breweries that are popping up, just like in the United States. They do sell Corona and Heineken here also, which would and other things that would be imports in the United States. Um, so and that's not and they're not expensive. So that's not something that would be a high budget item. I think that um, we were looking at. Th they sell beer in three packs. So if you sometimes see a three pack of beer bottles, the regular size that you would get in the United States, so just a standard beer glass um, bottle. Sometimes you get them on sale for about a dollar eighty nine for three bottles, so it's very inexpensive. And um, you can buy big packs of beer, but they're not usually more economical to purchase that way. So you can buy all different types if you want to. And so we talked about your dairy. Milk is very inexpensive here. Your regular cheeses that you would eat every day, like your sliced cheeses and things like that, provolone cheese is not expensive. Um, so those things, I know those prices are going up a lot in the United States, but here they're really not. We did have a slight increase in price, but it wasn't that much to notice. Um, your fruits and vegetables, right? Everything's all fresh. Your meats, very reasonable. Packaged foods. Um, Things in boxes, so your flours, very inexpensive here. Flour and sugar, so it's very inexpensive to bake. Um, cereals, in the supermarket they do sell some American brand cereals, like Kellogg's is in the store, and sometimes you can get things on sale, they'll have specials, but the average price of a box of cereal, I was looking on the shelf yesterday, it was about $3.00 to $4 for a, a decent box of cereal, but they don't really eat cereal here in Italy. Um, breakfasts here are usually coffee and maybe something sweet, a little piece of something sweet, a sweet uh, pastry or something like that, and that's it. They really don't eat cereals here, but if you love cereal, you'll be able to, to buy it here. Um, also, what people talk about a lot is peanut butter. So. Some people really love peanut butter, and I know that in this supermarket, the peanut butter is a little bit more expensive because it's not something that Italians usually eat, but um, you can go on Amazon here and get a big container. If you really love peanut butter, you can get a big container of peanut butter that's not expensive, and uh, then you can satisfy that peanut butter craving that you have. Um, also, like jelly and things like that are very inexpensive. $2 a jar where I know that in the United States, some of the jellies that we used to purchase often, um, they're going up to about 5 and $6 a jar. So it's not like that here at all. Um, the costs of those things are still the normal that they would have been. Um, and um, packaged chips and things like that. We have potato chips. We have, they sell Pringles here all over. They seem to like Pringles. So you can get those and they're not expensive. Um, your nuts and seeds and things like that um, that you're used to getting in the United States and beans, uh, dried things like that, those are very inexpensive to get here. Um, so you're not really, we're not really seeing a crunch on our budget from groceries where I think that in the United States that that's probably one of the major issues that people that are living in the United States are having is paying for groceries because everything that they're used to buying has gotten so expensive. Also, um, laundry detergent. So yesterday I bought a bottle of laundry detergent and it was $3. And it does, I think it says, I don't know if I can look and see it. I think it does 30 loads. So 30 loads for $3, which is not expensive at all. Um, 
and I know that the, the laundry detergents are going up in the, if you get the even the big club size in Costco or, um, or Sam's Club or if you shop like that, which I used to do and buy everything in bulk to get it for a lower price, I know that those laundry detergents are going up in price. Um, when we left, I think it was at $23 or $24 for the, a big container of the laundry detergent, but um, here, and they're all very good, so you can get ones that are comparable to Tide, things like that, um, and they're not expensive. And so an, one of the big things that I wanted to talk about is wine. So Italy obviously is known for its wine, and especially Puglia is a really big wine growing region that they have a lot of delicious rosato, um, red wines, the uh, white wines, chardonnays, they grow everything here. But the big difference is that wine here, if for a very good bottle of wine, I mean, it's very rare that we've gotten a bad bottle of wine, but um, most of the wine here, for a very good bottle that usually would run you maybe 15 to 20 dollars in the United States it's about six dollars seven dollars here so and that's for a very good you know an expensive bottle but you can get bottles of wine that are very good you can also get local wine that some of the local winemakers will make and sell it in jugs so you can go to places and have jugs filled up with wine and purchase it that way and those wines are very good but if you really like very good wine in bottles you don't have to spend a lot to get very good wine here um, that's one of the things when everyone comes up like we have to go out and have some wine it's like well we can go to the supermarket and they're like you can't buy good wine in the supermarket but you really can um, the supermarket wine that it's mostly local but then they do have other wines that come from different areas of Italy. They do have wines that come from other countries also, but the Italian wines are really fresh and they really do save the best stuff for themselves and ship everything else that's maybe not as good to the United States or other countries because I've purchased wines, some of similar wines that we're getting here in this region in the United States and they don't taste nearly as good as they do here, which maybe it has something to do with the transport and why it has to sit in, you know, tra in a, on a ship for a very long time to get transported to the United States. I'm sure that that has something to do with the taste, but everything that we've had here has really been great. So if you are thinking about retiring and you're thinking about coming to Italy, I would advise looking at, up at Puglia in Salento in this area where the south area southern area of Puglia um, because the costs are not that high but the the standard of everything is very high so you really won't be buying anything that's not good here and uh, it is very economical it's affordable to live and, and buy groceries here and um, the other thing that I wanted to uh, let everybody know is there's a few supermarkets. So some of our local markets are the Doak Market, which is D-O-K. We have Conad. Um, we have uh, stores that are a little more economical, like the Penny Market and Eurospin. And if you go online and you look up those supermarkets and then look at their ads, you can actually sh shop the, ad the supermarket ad and look at what people here are paying for their groceries. So um, I think that that's a really good idea because we didn't do that. So we were unsure when we moved here if, you know, how expensive things would be and would we be able to get some of the same items that we're used to having in the United States here. But um, that was probably something I should have done. And um, it's a really good idea because they publish all of their ads online so you can actually shop the supermarket and see how what the prices are before you know you commit to making a decision so I hope that this information helped you today and if you are enjoying the channel please click on the like and subscribe and I will have more house videos soon we're just waiting for a little bit more progress to get done with the house but as soon as that gets done I'll be posting another video about the house and take care stay safe